Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy a BitGit Futures Grid Bot. Now, if you're not familiar with how a Futures Grid Bot would operate, it's very similar to a Spot Grid Bot. The only difference is you're either betting on the price action to go short or long. And the bot is still made up of open limit buy or sell orders and you're looking for this choppy price action. The only real difference is rather than just buying low and selling high for profit like a spot bot, you select what direction you think the market is going to go in. And if you think the market is going to go down, you're more than likely going to select the short bot. And so if the price goes up and takes out one of these open limit sell orders, you're adding to your sell position. And then when the price does actually go down, you buy or you close some of your sell positions and take profit. And the profit is determined by the space in between each one of these grids. Now on the flip side, if you're going long and the price goes down, then you're buying and adding to your position. So when the price goes up, then you are selling and closing the position for profit. So short, you're betting on the market to go down or long, you're betting on the market to go up. And with that all being said, you're still looking for choppy price action between the grid. It really just depends on what direction you think that the trend will be. Will it be a downwards trend or an upwards trend? So with that in mind, we can jump over here to BitGit. And the first thing you will need, obviously, is a BitGit Exchange account. Now, if you're not familiar with BitGit, if we jump over here to Coin Market Cap, you can see they come in number five as far as derivative exchanges go and trading long or short futures accounts. That's considered derivatives. And BitGit is ranked number five. Now, I'm not sure why they are behind KuCoin at number four. KuCoin doesn't have nearly as much volume or open interest. So in my book, BitGit would actually be above KuCoin. And at the end of the day, I do a lot of trading over on Bybit and they actually have similar volumes and open interest. And in addition, both Bybit and BitGit have been open a similar amount of time. Bybit launched March 2018 and BitGit launched April 2018. So as you can see, BitGit is a top derivatives exchange. And if you don't have an account currently with BitGit, I will drop a link in the description down below. And I believe if you use my link, you'll get a bit of a discount on your trading fees. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get one of these bots deployed. Now, since this is a futures grid bot, you will need some funds over here in your futures account. If you are opening a new account with BitGit, typically when you deposit funds, they come over here into your spot account. And so you will need to actually transfer some funds over here to your futures account. And you simply just click on transfer. And you can go from the spot account to the USDTM account and the amount you want to actually transfer. Once you have some funds available over here in your futures account, you're ready to deploy one of these grid bots. Jump up here to the tab that says trade. Scroll down to strategy trading. Give that a click. And then you will find a few different strategies available. You have a spot grid, future grid, couple DCA bots and spot auto invest. Today's video is obviously about a futures grid, so you just give that a click. Now you need to determine what pair you want to trade. You can search from a list of different pairs that are available. For today's example, I will be trading ETH USDT, so I can give that a click. Now I'm ready to actually configure the parameters. But before you get too far into the weeds on the parameters, you do need to select which margin mode you want to use. And it's been my experience you can only use cross. I've tried isolated, which is how I actually day trade is with isolated margin. And isolated margin basically means my risk or my liability would be isolated to this one position. For whatever reason right now, I can only select cross for the grid bot, which basically means it will utilize the full amount of the funds I have available in my futures account. 
For me, that's not going to be a big issue because I will manually manage this bot. However, that does put all of your funds at risk if you're not paying attention. So I'll go ahead and click confirm for the margin mode of cross. Now I need to select whether I want to go long or short. In this case, I'm going to select short as I think we are looking at a deeper pullback for Ethereum. Now that I have selected the direction of the grid bot, they do offer AI strategies, which will basically be based on back testing history. And obviously back tests don't guarantee future results. So you're copy trading what happened in the past. I'm not big in the copy trading. So I am going to select manual creation for this grid bot and set up the parameters myself. And the first parameter is price range. I need a lower and a higher price range for the grid to be deployed between. And we're looking at the daily candles here. And you can see that back here on March 9th or 10th, we saw a low around 1400 and around April 16th, ETH saw a high of around 2100. So in a just over a month's period, that would be a good range to be looking at. So with that Intel in mind, Lowest price, I'm going to set at 1400. Highest price, I will set at 2100. Now I need to determine the number of grids that should be divided between this range. And as you can see, the default is two, which would give you a profit per grid of around 20%. Now I want my bot to have a little more action. So I am going to set my number of grids at 49, which would give a profit per grid of around half a percent to 0.9 percent probably an average of around 0.7 percent which would fall in line with most of my grid bot strategies the amount of leverage is set at five now you could try to go dgen but i don't know as if it's going to let you go right the maximum leverage i could use for this grid bot it's telling me is going to be 7x so we are going to drop this back down to 5x click confirm for the leverage now the next parameter is coins, so I need to give this bot some ammo to go to battle with. And in this case, the minimum amount you can see is 211 USDT. So we will go ahead and give the bot 250 USDT. Now the last bit of settings are considered advanced settings. You have a trigger price. That would be the price you want ETH to reach before the bot actually deploys. And since I'm going short, I might set this trigger price a little bit higher. So I might be able to take advantage of a deeper sell off, but I'm not going to actually set that. I just want the bot deployed when we hit create, take profit price, stop loss price, obviously pretty self-explanatory. I will be manually managing this account, especially since my margin mode is set at cross. So I'm not going to set either one of these. I will be the safety in this case for this particular grid bot. Well, that's my safety, sir. Next is grid order mode. And that basically determines how the grid spacing is set up. And you have arithmetic and geometric. Now, arithmetic is an equal distance between each grid and geometric is actually kind of an equal price difference between each grid. And when it comes to a futures grid bot, this is a little more important as arithmetic is more favorable to a long strategy and geometric is more suitable for a short strategy. And since we're going short today, I will be going with the geometric interval. And then you can actually choose initial price limit. If there's slippage, you could limit where this bot actually deploys at. BitGit on ETH USDT has pretty good volume, so I'm not worried about slippage. So I'm gonna leave that as NA. And then I have checked off, do you want to close the position when terminated? Absolutely. It's a futures or perpetual contract. So we definitely want everything closed out when we terminate the bot. Now we're ready to create the bot. So we just give create an order a click. That will pop up the parameters that you just configured. Trading pair, ETH USDT. 
I will earn profit. So all my profit will be earned as USDT. The price range is 1400 to 2100. The number of grids was 49 profit per grid. You can see came right in the middle of that range at 0.7% initial margin. The initial amount I have at risk is 250 USDT. The position mode is cross. So because it is cross, again, very high risk, that means your entire margin account or futures account could be at risk. Leverage, we have set at 5x. Grid order mode, geometric, because again, I'm going short. Uh, initial price limit, we did not set. And I did tick off, do you want to close the position when terminated? Yes. And so once I click confirm, an open position of 3.1 ETH will be made when the strategy is deployed. So we just click confirm and you can see open short, ETH USDT, 5X leverage. And now under the current strategy tab, you can see ETH USDT cross 5X. The stats for this particular bot, price range, uh, profit loss. Obviously, this bot's been deployed for less than a minute, so there's no profit or loss. But I will do an update video in the near future, so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, Never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.